Hello everyone, back with another DIY sound design tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how to record household objects and create some pretty cool sound effects. Today, I'll be showing you how to get these sounds into this sound. Nice. Before we dive into recording, it's a good idea to watch your reference clip multiple times. Here you can get a clear idea of your overall sound. I'll be breaking up this sound into two parts, a charge up and an impact. I find making sounds with my mouth and using hand gestures help when trying to imagine the sound. Now that we have a clear direction, it's time to start hunting for sounds. For this sound, I'm going to use tin foil for electricity, scratch some cardboard for a nice charging sound, slap my thigh for a mid-frequency impact, slide some paper for an aftershock sound as well as a secondary charging sound to complement the cardboard scratch sound. Once you've recorded your desired sounds, it's time to start arranging them to form our sound skeleton. <laughs> we will be using the tin foil, paper slide, and cardboard scratch sounds for the charge up. Then we'll use the thigh slap and reuse the paper slide sounds for the impact. Once you're happy with your arrangement, we can start playing around with effects. For this sound, we will be using a combination of EQ, compression, pitch shift, flanger, and reverb. We can use the EQ plugin to start shaping our sounds and making them fit like a puzzle. Simply by adding or cutting certain frequencies, we can have our sounds better complement each other. The next plugin I reach for after applying some EQ is the compressor. We can use this effect to control our volume levels as well as shape our transients. Transients are the peak or spike of a sound where they experience high amplitude for a short duration. Pitch shift what did you say? is a pretty useful tool when it comes to beefing up a sound without distorting it. We can throw this on our impact sound and shift it down a few semitones. The lower, the beefier. I find flangers are a great plugin for charging and electricity sounds. With that said, we can apply the flanger on our tinfoil, paper slide, and cardboard scratching sounds. Once you have applied EQ, compression, pitch shifting, and flanger, we can quickly go back to our EQ and automate frequencies to add more movement to our sound. Whoa. Finally, we can turn to our reverb effect and create space in our sound. I like to use two sets of reverbs, a small and a big spaced, and blend them. This way, you can get a clear reverb sound as well as an ambient one. After brainstorming, recording, arranging, and processing, we can finally see our finished sound in action. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video gave you a couple ideas how to approach your next sound design project. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to see more content. Cheers!